Hi, this is Pad Love back with Pat's Two Cents. I don't know what's really going on. But as I was sitting here, I saw a man on a job. The look of disgust. The look of being victimized. Whoever you are. The impression I got is that somebody stabbed you in the back. Somebody just did you wrong. I mean, it was low down and dirty. God knows. God knows. He even knew when it was going to happen. He knew who it was going to happen through. Listen. Just because it seems as if this may be the end of a chapter in your life does not mean that God's not getting ready to turn the page to chapter number two. There's a whole new dialogue in that chapter. So this is not the time to just throw in the towel, hold your hand up to life and say, just screw it all. Forget it. What's the, what's the use? There is a use. Every effort you have put in this thing, every single idea, every single drop of sweat, every effort, every bit of energy you have invested in this is going to pay you. This somehow is going to turn around and pay you. God's going to see to it. So if it looks like you're losing, if it looks like something's being eased out from under you and you're being left with nothing in return for all your efforts, listen, your labor is not in vain. Your labor of love is not in vain, not with God. And he will turn this little thing around and stir things up and place things in motion in your life payday is coming baby only it's not going to come where you thought it was going to come from God's got a whole nother pay scale for you so you be encouraged that your change is about to come and if anybody got screwed it's not you even if you or out of breath if your money's funny and your change is strange listen don't give up the ghost on your faith not right now because god is getting ready to pay you big time for all you've done see god says in his word vengeance is mine saith the lord i will repay and see god will give you double for your trouble you just sit tight. It may look like you're losing. It may look like things are being snatched out of your life. Trust me when I say, God is due to be trusted. Oh, you're going to come out on the winning side. You've already won. You just haven't seen the end of the story yet. And I'm not talking about the Bible now. I'm talking about the chapter and verse of your life, your destiny. God's got something behind door number three.